Hello everyone, Amud here from Retarget Common YouTube channel and I am here with another topic of Recessive. So in previous videos we are learning about Jackson annotations which are helpful for us during the serialization process. Right? So in this video we are going to learn to learn about new annotation of Jackson which will help us for during the deserialization. Okay? So just for recap, serialization is the process in which a Java object okay, is converted to JSON object. Okay, means we are creating an object of POJO class, we are setting the values and then we are converting to JSON object, right? So that is called serialization. The reverse of it called deserialization means we will have one JSON string or JSON object and that will pass to a POJO class. Okay. So that we can get the values or we can phase the values out of that JSON. And that is one of the uh, popular way uh, in which we can extract the values from JSON response. Okay. So we are going to learn about a new annotation here. So let me go to my clips and I will use the same project for uh, in which I have shown the examples of JSON include annotation, right? So here we have one POJO called employee, right? And we have some of fields here like name, age, married, address and mobile number. And we have the proper getters and setters. Okay. Now, this time we are not going to create any object of POJO, right? Which we are doing for previous videos. This time we will create some sample uh, JSON string directly. And uh, the real time, in real time, suppose when you are hitting any API, right? So we get one JSON response. So that JSON response generally we convert or uh, deserialize to a POJO class to fetch the values out of it. Correct? But here we are, we will have some hard coded JSON. Okay? Because the similar concept, similar JSON, you will get it from your what you call that uh, REST assured APIs and all REST APIs. So you can just replace with that. So what I will do, I will go to my uh, JSON online editor. Okay. And there I will create a dummy JSON, dummy JSON object. Okay. And what I will do in this one, in the happy flow, what I'm going to do here, I will have the uh, proper J proper JSON string where I will have all these five fields. Okay, let's start with the happy flow first. So what I'll do, I'll create one JSON object. Inside this, I'll put name and I'll put uh, my name. I like my name. Okay, then age, right? So let me put the value of age here. It will be, I am 13. <laughs> Okay, and uh, let me copy the field name instead of typing and I will put it true. Then we have one field called address and I will put some, I am in now New York, so I will put NY. Okay, and then the final one we have mobile number and that is also a string. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just put some random number. Okay. So if you create create an object of this POJO class and set the values as it is, so we'll get the similar JSON like this. So in a, so just the purpose of saving the time, I just created one JSON string. Okay. And you can, can you can uh, like you can suppose like this is the JSON response of any API. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I will copy it before let me create another package here and I will put it JSON ignore examples. Okay. Inside this, I will create a class json ignore properties example okay so what i'm going to do here let me create a main method let me store the json whatever we have created 
ओके इनटू ए स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल ओके सो सपोज दिस इज द जेसन स्ट्रिंग और जेसन ऑब्जेक्ट वी गेट एज ए रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम रिस्ट एपीआई सो आई वांट टू कन्वर्ट आई वांट टू पार्स और आई वांट टू मैप दिस जेसन स्ट्रिंग टू ए पोजो क्लास दैट इज कॉल्ड इंप्लॉय वाई वी कैन मैप इट बिकॉज दिस पोजो मीन्स दिस पोजो विल हैव ऑल द फील्ड्स वाट एवर वी हैव इन जेसन ओके सो इफ यू डोंट हैव द नीड टू क्रिएट ए क्रिएट अ पोजो क्लास मैचिंग विद दिस रिस्पॉन्स ओके देन वी नो डैट वी हैव ए क्लास कॉल्ड ऑब्जेक्ट मैप विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम विद जैक्सन ओके लेट मी गिव द ऑब्जेक्ट मैप न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट मैप राइट ओके सो अर्लियर वी टू यूज राइट राइट बिकॉज वी आर कन्वर्टिंग जावा ऑब्जेक्ट टू जैसन राइट हियर दिस टाइम टू बी अपोजिट मीन ऑब्जेक्ट मैप डॉट रीड वैल्यू मीन्स वे रीडिंग द वैल्यू वे रीडिंग ए जैसन वी आर कंज्यूमिंग जैसन स्टिंग टू कन्वर्ट इट टू ए पोजो क्लास सो इट इज ओवरलोडेड मैथड यू कैन सी दर सो मेनी ओवरलोडेड मैथड्स ऑफ रीड वैल्यू वेर वी कैन पास डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ जैसन स्ट्रिंग मीन जैसन वैल्यू ओके इट यू कैन ईड इट फ्रॉम फाइल यू कैन पास इट एज ए स्ट्रिंग वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट ओके सो लेट यू पास जैसन स्ट्रिंग हियर ओके एंड वी इन विच क्लास आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट इन विच पोजो क्लास सो यू नोट टू से डैट यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट टू इम्प्लॉय ओके रिमेंबर यू कैन कन्वर्ट टू ए मैप ऑल्सो आई ऑलरेडी आई हैव कवर्ड इन प्रीवियस दे नो नीड दैट यू to extract the values from a json string you always need to convert it to a pojo class you can create you can use map or list based on your json so into pass employee dot class here okay so what i am saying here hey object map but read the json string and map deserialize it to employee pojo class okay let me import it it will throw exception for you sure. let me add the throws exception and since it is uh, deserializing to my pojo class called employee so you need to store in the same object okay proper so i just deserialized my json string to employee employee pojo and we are storing in the same type okay now i can extract any value out of it like emp object dot get age sys out employee object dot get address let me copy and paste okay so we put the age and address then we have get get uh, mobile number okay then what else get uh huh what is we remaining here get age address mobile so why others are not coming here name age married age at this mobile number covered what is remaining name okay get name and there's one thing okay so i think i have not covered about the boolean field right so if you go to employ pojo class here and we have married a field called married which is boolean type right and when you are generating the getters and setters from it it is generally actually is married right it's not a get it is is right so i will cover this concept in different uh, video but here if you the field is type boolean so you will have the set set term method properly 
right but for the getter you will have is married field not the get married okay that is only for the boolean fields okay okay so let me run this program and i should able to get all the values as it is whatever is in json i should able to get it so it's 30 new york number amount proper right this is very happy flow where we have all the fields all the fields values here okay but now what i'm going to do here what i'm going to do here mm -hmm. what i'll do i will simply remove some of the fields okay let me remove all these three fields okay so in the response we know right we can in exclude the field if it is null or default values right so suppose when you hit the api you get the response and in that response you have only two fields name and age right what will happen if you try to parse it now let me put it here okay so we have name and age only in the json string but we try to get everything like uh, address mobile number and married right these fields are these values are not there in json then what will happen which value it will give me okay so let me run and show you what will happen so run a java application and you can see it will not throw any error but it will give you all the default values for the fields which are not part of your json string okay making sense because if it is not finding any values it will simply set the default value okay proper perfect so this is again one happy flow only where we are not setting the values for all the fields so that's fine but now the main concept comes or main problems comes when we have extra fields okay means suppose we have another field called here hmm, skills right and suppose i put it in java here so in this json string we have one field called skills okay this skill is not part of your employee pojo okay this is completely new field or employee pojo class is not aware of the field called skills right so what will happen in this case so let me copy this copy this json let you put it here okay and turn me run it i cannot even use the getter method for the field skills right why because i don't have that one there's no property called skills in the employee class and so we will not have any getters method or setters method for it okay let me run the program and see the output so any guess what will be the output so we'll get the error and that's why i am trying to covering the flow from happy flow then uh, little happy flow and then negative flow here right so we can see the error and let me show you what is the error if you see here like it's showing the exception in thread main okay unrecognized property exception okay by the name you can understand like something is not recognized okay so let me scroll to right and you can see unrecognized field skills okay in the class called employee which is pojo okay not marked as ignorable okay means we have a uh, means the skill field is not present in the class employee and just not marked as ignorable okay means we have not ignored this field as well and it is also showing that i am aware of only five properties you can see five known properties what are the fields what are the properties name married age mobile number address because those are existing in my pojo class but the field called skills is not part of my pojo that's why it is showing the error what we can what we can do for this for this you need to go mm -hmm, you need to go and put one annotation here okay so with that annotation called json ignore properties okay under this properties you have one field called mm -hmm, ignore unknown equal to true okay by default it is false 
so if it finds while doing the deserialization if you find any field which are unknown to you okay then you need to ignore that property that is the meaning of this annotation with the value if i run the program now i should able to fetch the values easily and it will not throw any error okay we can see we are getting the values okay so this is simple concept but in interviews they will ask you in uh, they will ask in such a way that you will get confused okay the interview might ask you like okay they are uh, means they are very big json okay they are very big json and uh, how can you extract the value using the pojo class so in that very big json there's no it's not uh, needed that you may need all the values right you don't know you don't need really okay so what you can do you whatever you just require you can create the pojo for that only they no need to create the create the pojo class which consists all the properties you no know, that is not needed okay you can create and you can ignore like this okay second thing you might they might ask you like how can you uh, mean support it is dynamic pojo okay dynamic response sometime you will get sometime you will not get so what you will do here so you can use this just ignore property section as well sorry annotation as well so questions they might ask in different way but answer will be the same okay just need to think what we are trying to do and how can you solve that problem okay so i think i have covered the concept in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video and if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone